folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you, love to everybody out there. I'm just going to make a few videos this evening and I hope it's a blessing to you. I got back uh, yesterday uh, from London and um, I'm going to just talk about my mission trip to Hyde Park, how it went. I'm going to recommend some books to you. Uh, my website is jasonburnspreacher.com uh, You can look up my Twitter account uh, Jason Burns Twitter and also um, my Facebook as well and then on top of that uh, you can look at the Royal Blood Ministries website too so my own personal website is jasonburnspreacher.com I want to recommend some books before I just tell you about what happened to Hyde Park and then I'm going to make a few videos um, concerning um, some of the research that I did for Hyde Park. I spent a couple of days doing research and I just want to get that research out uh, to be a help to you, a blessing to you. Okay, uh, I've recommended these books before but I'm going to recommend them again. John Piper Books. Brothers We Are Not Professionals published by Mentor. John Piper, Brothers We Are Not Professionals uh, published by Mentor and Christian Focus Publications. You can get it free on Desiring God Ministries PDF. Desiring God Ministries PDF. This is a really excellent book for what it is to be a pastor. Um, you have Brothers We Are Not Professionals, Brothers God Loves His Glory, Brothers God Is Love, Brothers Beware of Debtor's Ethic, Brothers Let Us Pray, etc. This is a helpful substitute to a lot of books on being a pastor and, and leadership. A lot of the books today on leadership are encouraging pastors to be either entertainers or businessmen. This book is encouraging you to be biblical, to, to get back to what the Bible says, being a pastor or a preacher, a servant of God. It's a really helpful book. Another book which is worth its weight in gold is John Piper's book, Let the Nations Be Glad, published by IVP. Again. This book is an excellent book. Let the Nations Be Glad, IVP. And it's a book about mission. And it's saturated. It's absolutely saturated with the Word of God. And it's a very helpful book. Uh, and if you want to be inspired about mission, this is a really good book. If you're, if you're a person who's doing evangelism or into evangelism and you're discouraged, read this book. It will inspire you really well. This is another book by John Piper, um, The Pleasures of God, uh, again published by Christian Focus. Um, and I'm just looking at, um, one writer says, I have never felt more compelling responsibility than I felt from reading these chapters. The book is a gold mine. Uh, anything by John Piper on meditating on the nature of God is really helpful. So, John Piper, The Pleasures of God. Um, and then one of the best books on preaching that you can get is by is The Supremacy of God by John Piper, IVP. It's a really excellent book. And uh, I think you can go and listen to his talks called The Supremacy of God and they're really helpful. And that's really, really a helpful book if you're a preacher. And uh, this book's helpful if you just want to get strong in your Christian faith. But this book's really helpful if you just need your preaching to be inspired. If you get tired as a preacher, just have a, a week or two, two weeks out of, of preaching uh, and get hold of this book. It's really powerful. It's really helpful. Warren Wiersbe says, calls us back to a biblical standard of preaching, a, st a standard exemplified by many of the pulpit giants of the past, especially Jonathan Edwards and Charles Spurgeon. It's a really excellent book to, to read. Um, I listened to his talks, Supremacy of God in Preaching, and a few years ago, and they were really helpful to me. What, what I get with John Piper is he's so saturated in Scripture and in the glory of God that you just feel lifted into God's presence through his teaching. You might not agree with everything John Piper says, but 
you'll be inspired by reading that book. So I just want to share a few things about Hyde Park. Um, I want to share why we go to Hyde Park, uh, what's been happening, and um, and I give you a little bit of advice. We've done this before, and I'm going to keep saying it. We've seen a marked difference this time. We went to Hyde Park this time. We've been going for about a year. Um, at Hyde Park, this time we've seen a marked difference. We've seen, we felt like this time, the Muslim apologies and the Muslim opposition was a lot, lot weaker. It felt like they were a defeated army. It felt like the Christians were getting stronger in sharing the gospel. And, um, it, 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 we were really encouraged. Um, Hyde Park is a, is a very difficult, Speaker's Corner is a very, very difficult place to go. If you go as a young Christian, what you'll find is there's all these Muslims there and then there's these Muslim apologies. They'll surround you. They'll tear your beliefs apart. And then they go on to the next victim. But in the midst of that, you have lots of holiday makers and many more Muslims and other people, atheists and all sorts of people, who congregate there as well. So it's not, a, it's not an edifying environment to be in, especially if you're a young Christian. Because there are all these people trying to argue, and many of them are not listening to each other, and they're just trying to rip each other apart. So, if you're going to go there, you've got to go with, with a lot of prayer and a lot of wisdom of why God wants you there. And the reason why I've gone down there and I've taken people with me and encouraged people to go with me is because it was being taken over by Muslims. There was hundreds of Muslims and they were ganging up on the Christians and picking on Christians and... Um, I felt that we could help by going down there and getting into discussions with their apologists, Muslim apologists, and showing that their Muslim apologists questions can be answered. Secondly, to pray that God would guide us to people that are open. And thirdly, to talk and encourage the Christians there. So that's why we go down. So sometimes you'll see video clips where we're talking to people and it can be quite tough because they're, they're, it's just tick for tap. But many times through the day we, we have had good conversations with people who were open to the gospel. And then sometimes we've had some really good debates. So like you'll see video clips coming in the next few days have really good opportunities to debate Muslims and, and, and to get the gospel across and atheists too. Uh, I believe that it's about life, it's about bringing life. In John chapter 4, the Samaritan woman was at the well and Jesus said, you must worship in spirit and in truth. And Jesus wanted to bring life to her and that's what we're going down there for. We want to bring life to people. We don't want to just be arguing for the sake of arguments, because that's not what God wants us to do. He wants us to bring life. But it also says, give a reason for the faith that's within you. And you've got to be able, and be able to answer people's questions. So I just want to show you something. So when I go down, I spend two days in preparation. And these are my research notes that I take down to Hyde Park various scholarly notes on the Quran that I've done this is my research so Paul Williams these are Muslim apologists so what I'll do is here's the Quran I'll read scholarship, I'll read scholarly works on the Quran, I'll read Muslim scholars, 
I'll go and research the Hyde Park scholar, the Muslim apologists like Paul Williams, Hamza, uh, Muhammad Hijab, and others. I'll research them, what they say, and these are basically my scholarly research on Islam. It's mainly Islam here in these notes. And basically, I take these notes down with me so I can, because I can't remember everything. And I use these notes to answer Muslim apologies down there, to help the Christians and to show that Christianity can be defended. Um, what I found recently, so, so in other words, may I encourage you, if you go down to Hyde Park, I spend two days, two days, full days, intensive study. I read articles, I watch video clips, I watch debates, I listen to lectures. I mean, when we was going down this week, I listened to two debates, I listened to the two debates three times. So I listened and listened and listened, I made notes, I did research on the Quran, studying verses in the Quran, looking at counter arguments from Muslim scholars uh, on the Quran. I went to Christian scholars, Muslim scholars, and I did meticulous research for two solid days. And I studied my Bible. I studied the Bible. I studied the Word of God. I read the Word of God. I studied it. So when I go down to Hyde Park, when I open my Bible, when I'm in Hyde Park, and here, I have notes in my Bible, and here are notes. There's notes on atheism. There's notes on homosexuality to show the Bible is the Word of God. But here are notes also answering Muslims. So I have my Bible with notes. And then I have a second file of notes. And then on top of that, I have my major file. And then other major files on various topics, such as a file on Josephus, a file on the last ending of Mark, a file on on the Torah, a, fi a file on uh, Gnostic Gospels, etc. Research notes that I've done. Not only on top of do, doing the academic research, biblical research, Quranic research, for two solid days. That's morning, noon and night, for two solid days. Also, me and Mike, we met up for two days, two evenings, or two afternoons, I can't remember if it was evening or afternoon, but we met and we prayed for hours, we prayed for a lot, we prayed a lot. So we did a lot of praying, we did a lot of discussion, and uh, Kieran came later on and, and we met with Kieran also, so as a team we spent time in prayer, as a team we spent time in study. We also, when we went down this time, we were much more stronger working as a stronger team. So what, what, what do I... Why am I saying all this? We've seen a marked improvement over the last six months of Christians going down, being more prepared. And it's shown. Christians have been more prepared, and because they're more prepared, they've been able to answer the Muslims, and the Muslims have found it difficult to deal with. So why I'm showing you this is, you need to be prepared. If you're going down to Hyde Park, you cannot just go down on a wing in a prayer. You, you need to take it more professionally and you need to do some prep. You need to do some preparation if you're going to Hyde Park at Speaker's Corner. You really need to do that. Because you're going to do more harm than good if you just go down there as a Christian and think you can just make a few notes and then get into a debate and a discussion. You're going to get crushed, but you're going to do more harm because it's going to be on camera and you're going to be exposed 
and it's not going to do you good, it's not going to do anybody else good. So you need to make sure you've done some preparation. Go and watch the Muslim apologies. Make notes on who, who they are, the main ones. Make notes on them. Talk to people who have experience in, in going to Hyde Park. When you go to Hyde Park, hang around those who are experienced in debating and discussion and learn from them first. Okay? Take some notes with you in your Bible. Some, some notes. I'll give you an example. I met a Muslim down there, the first Muslim. And he was not one of their main debaters. He was not one of their main apologists. He was just a, an average dude, Muslim dude. And he had a Bible in his hand. And he had notes on textual criticism. And he didn't know his stuff very well, but he'd done a, a, quite a lot of research. I was able to show that he didn't know as much as he thought he knew. But that's just an ordinary Muslim guy, but he had a Bible and textual notes. Now if you walk into that and a Muslim springs that on you, you're just gonna you, you're just gonna be confused and not able to answer. Okay. So do your research, do you do meticulous research before you go down to Hyde Park and do a lot of praying. And remember when you go down there, it's not to win arguments, it's there to bring life. Okay, you, 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 you're not going there to argue with people in the end of the day, you're going there to share the gospel, to get people saved. So it, it, it's, it's quite a challenging thing to do to go to Hyde Park and, and, and to enter into the arena there because you've got to maintain uh, a, a gracious spirit where you want to share the gospel and see people saved. But you've got to be up to scholarly speed, being able to answer people's questions and, and be aware of the kind of questions that are going to come at you from Muslims. And not only Muslims, from atheists and, and whatever. Do it as a team, do it as a group and go with an attitude of depending on the Holy Spirit. Alright, so look, that's my preparation. Okay, this is my preparation for Hyde Park. I take these files down with me every time I go down to Hyde Park. And this is a year's worth of research. This is a year's worth of research principally on Islam. Alright? So when any Muslim apology starts to come near me and starts to bring it on and argue with me, if I can't remember, I've got my file, I've got my information, and this is research, a lot of this is research. Quite a bit of this is research that I've done myself, I've actually gone into researching uh, material, you know. So, I hope that encourages you. So, we had a blessed time. It was so encouraging. Um, we felt the Holy Spirit with us. We felt we were just coasting on the Holy Spirit. We got into a, to various debates and discussions with individual Muslims who, who just wanted tit for tat. But in the midst of that, we, we just led, was led by the Holy Spirit and we were able just to maneuver in and out of the crowds and talk to individuals who were open with the gospel. And within that, we had opportunity to have major debates with various groups of people, which has been filmed and will be an encouragement to people later on. And we've had a few reports from people who said they've been encouraged by our ministry from Manchester to the people down in London who are doing ministry to Muslims there, that they've been encouraged by what we've been doing. So we, we thank people for those reports. And we are constantly praying for the people in London, the Christians in London. We are constantly praying for you. Our hearts are with you. We are one with you. Uh, there's various groups. There's a group that Jay Smith has. He's gone now, but there's a core group that are with him. We're, we're with you. We're praying for you. We're rooting for you. We're praying for you. We support you. We're behind you 100%. We go down doing our bit just to help you to, 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 so that you can do your bit. And there are other people down there, street preachers that we, we know. 
and we're praying for you constantly and, we, and we're behind you and we believe in you uh, and we're just with you so keep doing the work that you're doing and everybody down there just keep going at it we're having a break for winter we're not going to go down for 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 the winter we're going to have a break from maybe now to February um, so we're just having a long long break I'm going to try and I'm going to brush up on my Greek. I'm going to start doing my Greek and Hebrew and my Arabic from now in, in the winter session. I'm going to work on my Arabic, on Greek and on Hebrew. That's what I hope to do. So we're having a break. We've agreed as a team we're going to have a break for um, till, about, um, till about February. So we're going to chill out. And I would, I would encourage a lot of the Christians down there that sometimes maybe it might be just be a good thing to leave the Muslims alone for a while. Because in winter, what happens is, it's only the Muslims that are down there. And the, in the winter, they can be quite aggressive because there's no holiday in makers. And then the Christians that are there, the Muslims can be quite aggressive with them because they've got nobody else to argue with. So it might be just a good thing for a few months to just leave them alone and let them be. That's what we're going to do this winter. We're just going to leave them alone and let them get on with it. And we'll be back in the spring next year. So that's where we're at. God is good. And uh, it's just been wonderful. It was a, a great time, a wonderful time. And uh, God, God is good. So we're just going to pray. and. Um, so my, my, main, my main thing is we've had a good time in sharing the gospel. Pray that God will bless the seed. And um, just to encourage you to pray about when to go down there, when, to, when not to. Maybe, it's, maybe it might be a good time to have a break. Just have, yourself have a break from Hyde Park. You, you, to go in Hyde Park every week, unless you feel really, really cold to do that, it's not a healthy thing to do. It's not healthy to be in arguments every week. It's not a healthy thing to be doing. So you need to pray. I should I be here every week? If you're there to if God has called you to be there every week, amen. Amen. But I think many of us, many Christians, need to seriously assess whether it's fruitful to be there every week. I don't think it's fruitful for many Christians there to be there every week. You'd be better going once a month and, and uh, going as a bigger team and going depending on the Holy Spirit and then using the, ne the next three weeks to, to evangelize people who wanna hear the gospel. All right, but every week getting into arguments there, it, it's not healthy. We go once, a, we've been going once a month or once every six weeks uh, and I think that's a healthy thing to do. Uh, and we always go prepared. Okay. So that's just my advice to you. But you're free in Christ if you go every week, you know. And that's what God wants you to do. Then God wants you to do that. And you'll be blessed in, in doing that. So may God bless you. But that's my advice. Is It's not a healthy environment to be going down every week. Okay. And secondly, if you're a young Christian... You need to really, really stand back and not get into debates when you're down there or she'll just get torn apart, all right? You need to stand back and, and find some of, some of the more experienced people down there and just stand with them. Stand with the Christian preachers that are more experienced, all right? And just stand with them and just give them a bit of support. And if you're going to go down there and enter into the arena of Hyde Park Speaker's Corner, do your preparation. Prepare. Know your enemy. Know how to answer the questions. Know the Word of God. You need to know the Bible. Study the Bible. Get to know your Bible. And study and, and God will bless. Okay. I'm going to pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your blessings and your encouragement. And I pray, Father, that those who go down to Hyde Park, Christians, that, Father, you bless their ministries, 
We pray that you bless them all, Lord, and, and that they just know your love and blessings. And we pray that you, their ministries will be fruitful. And I pray, Lord, for those who, Father, who, who were Muslims today, and, and, and non-Muslims too, like atheists and Sikhs and Hindus. Father, all those that don't know you but go to High Park, bless them, Lord. And just may they come to know you as their Lord and Saviour. We ask this, Lord, in your name and for your glory, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your goodness and love in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I hope that's been a blessing. I'm going to just make a couple of videos now on a little bit of the research that I've done. And I hope that's a blessing to you. All right. God bless you. Have a lovely day. God bless.